In this video, you'll find out how the Monster Energy Drink Company killed the video game by Ubisoft Gods and Monsters. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel for tips and tricks, games such as Ghost of Tsushima. Ubisoft did a real head scratcher when they announced that the title formerly named Gods and Monsters, a pretty catchy title, was going to be called Immortals Phoenix Rising, and they formally announced this on September 12, 2020 at the Ubisoft Forward event where they featured gameplay and a new trailer for that action-adventure game by the creators of Assassin's Creed Odyssey. It turns out that there's been some legal disputes between Monster Energy Drink and Ubisoft, the software maker, because Monster Energy alleged that Gods and Monsters would confuse people that the video game was their energy drink. Like, absolutely no one would be confused by those things. But this shows the disgusting legal system gone out of control in the United States and total corporate trolling and greed. The real monster is Monster Energy. They're the trolls. They're the trademark trolls. And anybody that drinks their drinks is supporting the trolls. Now, I can see from Ubisoft's perspective why they didn't want to go through all this, even though they were probably going to win this ridiculous, idiotic, moronic, legal dispute. But, of course, Monster Energy could drag this out in legal battles forever, delaying the launch of what will be a very interesting game, a game that we thought was interesting enough to cover on this channel. We're probably not going to play it, but it was an inter interesting game game and it shouldn't be squashed by an energy drink company so i think way back when maybe monster had a video game they of course sponsored a recent ps4 exclusive death stranding it by the way a terrible terrible annoying product placement the most annoying product placement i've seen in any game was the monster energy product placement in Death Stranding. It was ridiculous. So I did go to the Ubisoft store. They do sell a lot of backpacks and bags and shirts associated with their games. For instance, for Valhalla, you can get a shirt, you can get a backpack, you can get a, a mask, you know, and Monster sells backpacks, shirts, and masks. Hey, everybody sells merch. Everybody in the world sells merch. You'd be hard-pressed to find a large YouTube channel that doesn't sell merch. Is anybody going to be confused that you sell merch thinking that, oh, well, an energy drink's the same as a, a video game? No. Nobody would be confused whatsoever. You know what, Monster? I hope you go bankrupt sooner rather than later with your copyright trademark trolling crappy caffeine drinks i want to thank uh yong ye uh for bringing this to my attention i'll put a link to the hoag law video which really goes into the deep dive into the legal details and really blows the story wide open oh and you know i'm glad that cd project red is not as easily kowtowed by the trademark trolls as ubisoft is because cd project red just came out with a game called witcher monster slayer because Geralt of the rivia slays monsters witchers slay monsters now Ubisoft has been tr tried to reach for comment on this, and they haven't, but they've essentially commented in the Ubisoft Forward presentation that they said that we thought as the game developed that Immortals Phoenix Rising more generally, and this is not a direct quote, uh, more generally reflected the, the, the game's true scope. Okay, whatever. The game's about gods and monsters. So not all gaming companies are are as easily scared by trademark trolls. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where you get, we give you the tips and tricks to crush open world RPGs. Bye-bye.